I am going to eat your soul. Tis the season for scary movies, friends. So to guide you in your search for the perfect flick for a cozy night in, courtesy of the new Rotten Tomatoes book, Rotten Movies We Love, check out these five rotten scary movies that we love right now on this weekend edition of The Ketchup. First up is 1997's I Know What You Did Last Summer, sitting at 42% on the tomato meter. The critics' consensus is that this is a by-the-number slasher that arrived a decade too late. But what this film does have going for it is its amazing cast. It's pretty much a who's who of the mid-90s. Jennifer Love Hewitt, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Ryan Phillippe, and Freddie Prince Jr. I mean, 12-year-old me is freaking out just thinking about this cast. There must have been a dog or something. What hurt this film at the time was that writer Kevin Williamson was coming off 1996's Certified Fresh Scream, which was a creative and genre-bending take on slasher films. So the expectations were pretty high, and instead he delivered this more conventional, albeit entertaining movie. What are you waiting for, huh? Next is another mid-90s teen movie, The Craft, and no, we're not talking macaroni and cheese. The Craft is about four high school girls who turn their outsider status into full-on witchcraft. The 1996 film has a tomato meter score of 55% with an audience score of 65% and the cast is anchored by 90s favorite Nev Campbell along with Feruza Balk, Robin Tunney, and Rachel True. And while the critics' consensus is that the craft's campy magic often overrides the feminist message at its story score, it's still worth checking out. And lucky for you guys, we are hosting movie party screenings of The Craft at Alamo's across the country. So check out Fandango or Alamo's website for more details and be on the lookout for these witches. Watch out for those weirdos. <laughs> we are the weirdos, mister. Landing next on our list is 2009's Jennifer's Body, starring Megan Fox, Amanda Seyfried, and Adam Brody. Fox was a pretty huge star at the time, coming off a couple of Transformers movies that raked in a combined $720 million at the box office. But critics weren't really ready for her to step into a comedic role, especially in the horror genre. So even though the critics' consensus is that its horror comedy premise ultimately fails to be consistently funny or scary enough, we think Jennifer's body, not to mention Megan's performance, is definitely worth your time. I am a god. Okay. Up next on our list is 2008's truly scary as hell, The Strangers, which has a tomato meter score of 48%. Liv Tyler and Scott Speedman are great as a young couple being terrorized by three masked assailants determined to kill them, but for no particular reason, which is normally how it goes. Initially knocked by critics as a movie about nothing that is filled with twisted and vile elements, hindsight has treated this film well, because The Strangers now draws worthy comparisons to John Carpenter's certified fresh Halloween, where an undeserving victim is also terrorized by a masked, knife-wielding psycho just for being there. Because you were home. And finally, slicing and dicing his way onto our list is Jason Voorhees and his early 80s classic, Friday the 13th, Part 2. That's right, the sequel to 1980's fresh Friday the 13th came out one year later and is at 29% on the tomato meter. It takes place five years after the first one and focuses on Jason as the villain, as opposed to his mother, who you know does most of the work the first time around. But what sets this slasher film apart from some others of its time is the depth that Jason has, with a story that makes him somewhat of a sympathetic figure who kills a bunch of people. Whatever, it's the movies. All right, it's time to kick it over to you now. Do you have a favorite rotten scary movie? Let us know in the comments section. And by the way, you can watch all five movies we just mentioned right now on Fandango Now. And to learn more about rotten movies that we love, check out our first book, which is out right now. It celebrates 101 movies on the green end of the spectrum that we think are totally worth checking out. As always, thanks for watching The Ketchup. And if you like this episode and you want to see more, subscribe and click that bell icon. I'm Naz Prez, and I'll see you guys next time.